Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create this amazing retro text animation from scratch. So make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and tricks. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. Open After Effects, then make a new composition, call it Main Comp, set its size to 16 by 9 ratio and duration to 5 seconds, then press OK. After that, select the text tool and write your desired text. So I will write motion for now. And I'm using this font. Now center align the text using the align panel. Now go under the text property, click on animate and select position. Then again, select scale. And after that, select tracking. Now adjust its y-axis position a little bit, then set its scale to zero, and tracking value to minus 75. Now go under range selector, make a keyframe on offset, set its value to minus 100 at the beginning, then go at one second and change it to 100. Easy ease this keyframe. Then go under advanced options, change shape, to ramp up. Now right click on this text layer and select create shapes from text. Go under this text shape layer and select repeater. Now go under repeater, change copies value to 20. Go under repeater transform, set its x axis position to zero and Y axis to three. Set scale value to 99 and start opacity to three and end opacity to zero. Make a keyframe on repeater copies at two seconds and change its value to zero at one second. Now, select the text layer and turn on its visibility. Make a keyframe on its scale value at one second too. Then make sure to parent the text outline layer to the text layer like this. Then increase the text scale value to around 160 at two seconds. Then go one second ahead copy and paste the first keyframe over here. Now select this keyframe and easy ease them by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Adjust the graph like this. Select the text outline layer and apply colorama effect on it. Go under Colorama Input Phase, change Phase From to Alpha. You can change the outline color using this color cycle or use the default preset from here. But for now, I will let this color be. Make a keyframe on the Phase Shift option. Then go a bit frame ahead, set its roundness value to 1. I think the animation is too fast. To fix it, select all keyframes and holding the Alt key, drag its last keyframe like this. Also, change the phase shift value to two. Make a new solid layer for background. Set its color to a little bit dark orange Place it behind all layers. Now, select the star tool from the toolbar, or you can use the shortcut Q for that. Set its color to dark navy and stroke value to three. Then make a perfect star holding the shift key. Center align it. Go under polystar options, 
set its points value to 9, then adjust its other properties according to your need. Make a keyframe on its scale and rotation value at one second. Set its scale to zero, then go at two seconds, 10 frames, and set its scale value to 150, and rotation to 60 degrees. Then go one second ahead, set scale value to 280, and rotation to 120 degrees. Easy ease this keyframe and adjust the graph like this. Now, duplicate this layer for the original shape layer, change its color, and increase its scale at the middle keyframe, as well as change its rotation to the opposite direction. We will get something like this. Now, duplicate this layer one more time, blend its color with the background layer, then offset it by one second. And, and at this point, increase its scale value to 300. Delete this last keyframe. Select the text and its outline layer. Pre-comp it, call it Text Holder. Click on this pre-comp layer, go under Layer Style. Select the Stroke, change the stroke color to black, and its amount to 6. Make a new adjustment layer. Apply posterized time effect on it. Set the frame rate to 12. Then apply add grain effect. Change its viewing mode to final output and intensity value to 2. Now apply unsharp mask effect on it. Set its amount to 200. Now apply Glow on it, set its threshold to 80%, and Glow Radius to 5. Now we will make some star shapes around the text. For that, select the Star tool, set its stroke value to 4, color to black, and fill color to white. Make a perfect star holding the shift key. Set its points to four and adjust its radius and roundness values like this. Make a keyframe on its scale value, then go five frames back. Set its value to zero. Then at 10 frames ahead, 
set value to zero again. Duplicate it two or three times and adjust their position around the text like this. Offset them by two or three frames in the timeline. After that, apply wiggle position expression on the adjustment layer for subtle movement. Set its amount to 15. and increase the background layer scale value a little bit. And this is our final animation. You can add lots of elements in this composition to make it more attractive. If you learned something new in this tutorial, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps and make sure you don't miss any future tutorials. You can get access to this project file and many others by becoming a member on my Ko-fi page. Link is in description. Your support helps me keep creating and sharing valuable content. See you in the next tutorial.